Hi, Sarah from The Upcoming. So lovely to meet you. So tell me, what drew you to being involved with this film, The Aftermath? Uh, well, yeah, as soon as I read it, I really, really loved it. And uh, and then everyone involved as well. I was, I was a massive fan of, uh, of, uh, of James's other films. And then, of course, of uh, Kira and Jason and, and Alex and everyone else. Uh, and yeah, as soon as I read it, I, I really, really loved it. Um, yeah, so that, that's what made me want to get involved. Did you go back and read the book and did that influence your decision? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I read the book after uh, I read the script and yeah, and it, and it did. And, and, and having a book is so helpful as well because it means that you don't just have the, the script, you have the uh, original source material as well. So that, uh, yeah, really helped. And what was James like to work with as a director? And also what was it like working with kind of mega stars, I suppose, like Kira and, and, and Skarsgård? Yeah, James was great. You know, one, one thing that all of them uh, collectively did was that uh, there was just a really lovely atmosphere on set and it really felt like a family and, you know, going to work every day was a, was a real pleasure. Uh, and that comes from the top down. So that comes from, uh, from James and from Kira and from uh, Jason and Alex and Jack, the producer as well. So yeah, uh, yeah, they just created a really lovely environment on set. And it's a period set piece, but what do you think this film might have to say to a contemporary audience? Oh my God, I, that is a good question. I actually haven't seen the film yet, so I'm not going to give you the best answer. So I'm sure James or, or, or maybe Jason or someone could give you a, probably a much better answer than, than I could. And do you know what you're going to be working on after this already? I do. I don't actually know if I can say, I can say it's a film uh, and that I'll be playing the lead, but that's kind of all I can, uh, yeah, all I can say, I think. Yeah, it was it was amazing. You know, the atmosphere that was created from from the top down. You know, from from everyone like uh, like James, the director, and all the producers, and, and Kira and, and Jason and Alex. Uh, you know, it really dripped down from them that they created this atmosphere of um, just a really friendly and, and warm working environment that that is then, in my opinion, conducive, conducive to uh, really good performances. Uh, I just thought it was it was it was such a powerful story and so beautifully written that uh, I really wanted to be a part of it and, and then the book as well is so so brilliant that I yeah straight away I, I wanted to be a part of it. I think they can expect a really really powerful moving um, story with with really exceptional performances from from Jason and, and Kira and and Alex. I play Barker, uh, who's a young Irish private and is uh, uh, Lewis, played by Jason Clark's um, driver. And, and assistant. Um, yeah, as soon as I read it, I, I really, uh, really loved it, and and, uh, and I went back and read the book. A really beautiful book by William Brooke, and um, yeah, and, and that's uh, that's kind of how I ended up uh, getting involved. Yeah, it was it was amazing. You know, like J Jason and um, and Kira are, are people who have grown up watching, uh, you know, watching my my whole life, and uh, um, yeah, and. and Really, uh, are reasons that I want to get involved in, in uh, you know, acting in in, uh, in the first place. Um, what makes them so special, I think, is uh, they're so they're so so talented. Obviously, are incredibly talented, and we've all seen their movies and are uh, amazing. But also, they're so nice and, and so generous with their time, and, and uh, both as performers and then just on and, and offset as well. Uh, yeah, they're they're really amazing, and that's a really cool thing to see as well as like a young actor that uh, the cream really floats to the top in terms of both uh, the performances and, and also just being really lovely people. Yeah, I think I, I don't think there's a there's a, a, a huge amount of films that um, uh, yeah take take place where our film takes place, and uh, maybe a lot of period films that end where our film uh, takes off. I think that um, I just just personally, I kind of. Maybe was slightly naive to just the amount of disruption, uh, in particular the film set in Hamburg. Just the amount of disruption uh, that, that Hamburg uh, faced during during the war and, and, and how it was left. So I think that audiences will probably find it quite shocking when they see just how uh, destroyed it was and, and the effect it had on, on the city. Yeah, he's he's incredible. You know, he's, he's such a such a lovely lovely man, and uh, and yeah, I was a big fan of. Of, of his work, of Testament of Youth, and um, yeah, he's uh, he's just so so kind and, and, and really really lovely, just a really lovely man, and, and uh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant director. Maybe maybe the first day actually, uh, yeah, just the first day because everything's so new, you're meeting so many new people, and uh, 
yeah, and everyone was so lovely. And one thing that was really cool about that as well is that uh, maybe something I think I just come off uh, an independent film before that that was like a really uh, low budget, and to see that just because the budget gets a lot bigger, everyone is still so so nice and and, and really caring. Oh God, I don't know. I, I don't think I look maybe like a like a leading man. I look about eleven years old. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, no, it certainly no, it, it certainly is, has helped. And uh, yeah, it's it's really cool to yeah to, to go on and, and be playing the lead in, in this next film. I'm really I'm really excited.